Hi everyone, uh, pretty excited today to give you a quick walkthrough of one of the use cases I built out for a recent uh, online uh, conference I did, uh, where I was looking at different ways that AI could enhance the experience of different HR teams. Uh, so today we're going to look at how you could potentially use something like ChatGPT to actually help you with career advice. So uh, it's never really going to replace a, a, a a good quality career advisor, but I think what it could do is actually help people who are going through this transition phase to actually ask different questions and really maybe think about things that they otherwise wouldn't have thought about. So let's take a look at the, uh, the overall prompts. We're going to start with the uh, basic prompt engineering. I'm going to walk through the, the overall structure, and then I'm going to walk through the use case and show you how to how to actually use it. Now you should be able to uh, get access to this Google Doc. Uh, I'll put a link. Um, in the comment section below. So feel free to, uh, to take a look. But it's a really straightforward uh, process. Um, what we're doing here is we're giving the, um, the large language model some context, a goal, and steps to go through. So if you see one of our previous videos about best practices, this is actually implemented um, directly here. So um, we're building this model called a career GPT. So essentially chat GPT is becoming a career advisor. Um, we're going to have the career GPT make career advisory recommendations. And these are the steps it's going to go through. Uh, so we won't go through in, in detail now, but we'll see that in action in just a second. Um, now, the key here is the format for the interaction. Uh, it's going to mean that we're going to have more of a Q&A approach, which is much better for actually drilling down into certain details. Um, so let me copy and paste this into ChatGPT, and we'll, uh, we'll get started with the process. So here we go. We are now starting to train the model. So what it, what's asking me to do first is to paste in my resume. So I downloaded my resume from LinkedIn. And I'm just going to copy and paste. And that way uh, we can have some problems copy and paste in. So we'll just paste that in there. And it's unstructured, but one of the benefits of ChatGPT is it can actually really start to pull out the uh, the kind of overall structure and really read um, any kind of um, string that you send in uh, and actually come up with a, a good recommendation. So um, here's the, the output. Um, so it's ready to uh, recommend 20 different potential career paths. So let's go. Um, so here's 20 career paths. So based on my resume and the knowledge, competencies, and experience that is pulled out of there, these are potential career paths that could be open to me. So uh, we're going to take a look at these, and then we're going to select one to uh, jump into. Um, so let's see what I'm going to do today. So let's say uh, I want to become a data scientist. Um, so given my background, I haven't done data science in the past, but maybe this is a potential career option for me. So um, let's take a look at data scientists. Now it's going to give me a recommendation of some high level tactics that I could um, maybe follow to uh, really understand whether the data science career path is the right one for me. So I can pick one to three of these. So let's say, um, let's do some portfolio development. So again, all I'm doing here is just copying and pasting. Um, maybe networking and maybe some mentorship. And then what it's going to do is actually start to give me recommendations for how to utilize these tactics in my um, kind of career uh, career transition plan. So um, what different portfolio items I could potentially work on, how to potentially network uh, into the area, and then how to look for potential mentorship or even mentor other people. Um, so let's go. Best practices and common mistake. Um, all right, so best practices. This is going to give me some advice on things to make sure I do, uh, things to make sure I avoid. And here's the uh, kind of overall uh, list of things to do. So um, in just a couple of minutes, we've got this whole output of different things to think through as we're going through our career transition plan. And you can see there's very little input from me. All I, all I had to do was copy and paste in the initial prompt and give it my resume. 
And it's come up with all these different suggestions. And we can go back through this. We could do it with any of the recommended career paths. We could look at any, any of the individual tactics. But what it's doing is it's focusing the information that it has in its large language model onto the specific things that we care about and actually coming up with much better recommendations because we're actually training the model to, uh, to answer the questions that are really important to us. Um, so that was um, pretty much the, uh, the kind of quick run through for today. Um, I'm going to stop there, but I would love to hear any questions that you have, drop them into the comment section below or any uh, recommendations for other areas to, uh, to look into. Uh, really excited about looking at all the different use cases for this kind of tool. Um, I think it's very exciting and, Hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.